Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll learn how to manage the main axis by using the flex direction property. We have here a container and a list of items. Let's just check that on the HTML code. Okay, we have a container and items. And if we want to use Flexbox for this province, so we just need to use Flexbox. Okay, let's just select Flexbox province. Then we'll use Display Flex in order to enable Flexbox for these items. And so as you see, once I use display flex, so the elements are distributed horizontally. But why this element are distributed horizontally? Because we have a main axis displayed horizontally. Okay, I will show you that. But before that, we have a property flex direction row. So this is what we have behind the scene. So this flex direction is just used to manage the main axis. Let's just draw a main axis right here. So we have a main axis, let's just go for M. And this main axis has a start. Okay, sorry, it has a start and has an end. Okay, this is what we have. We have a main axis and it has a start and has an end. And the elements are distributed from left, left, or we'll go left to, to right, okay. We'll have left to right and we have a main axis we we'll start here from left and we'll go to right. And this is what flex direction do exactly when it's set to row. And this is what we have behind the scenes. But even if I just comment that, if I just comment out that, so you see that the elements are distributed horizontally. Okay, let's just uncomment it again. And let's just display display the axis. And this is what flex direction do is just play or manage the way the main axis will be aligned. And this element or distribution of the elements, so they are just following the start and the end of the main axis and we'll go for left to right. Okay, what if I want the element to be vertical instead of horizontal? So in this case, I need to manage this main axis to be vertical. Okay, let's just remove that. And I will go for column instead of row. So as you see the element, you know, are vertical. And what I'm doing, okay, let's just remove the main axis here. So in this case, the main axis will be vertical. This is the main axis. And the stop will be at the top. And the end will be at the bottom. And we'll go from top, top. We'll go top to bottom. And this is what we have, top to bottom top to bottom, and this is the main axis. And when you set the value, or when you use the column value on flex direction, this is what we have. We're just playing or we're just managing the way the main axis is, is used. What if I wanna reverse it? So I'm going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What if I wanna go from here? So one will be here, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Okay, let's just remove that. So in this case, I will use column reverse. But the main axis will not still the same. So it will still vertical, but the star and the end, they shouldn't be like that. So the main axis need to be like that. Let's just go here, main axis. Then the star will be at the bottom and, and the end will be here. And it will go from bottom to top the main axis is still the same. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the elements are distributed from bottom to top. The flex items are always following the main axis when I'm using the flex, flex direction. So the elements are just following the main axis and they, they are following the star and the end. So it depends. So if I'm using column, so we'll have the stop at top and the bottom. If I'm using column in reverse, so we'll have star here and end at the bottom. Okay, and now let's just move and do a reverse for the row. Okay, we return first to a row, which means that the main axis will be horizontal. Then we we want to reverse this element. So we'll start one to seven. So in this case, we'll go row reverse. Okay, let's just display the main axis. And in this case, it will go like that from right to left. So this is the main axis. And this is the star now. And this is the end. So instead of having left to right, now we'll have right to left. Flex items are always following the star 
and the end and the main axis define how we was use it so this flex direction just think of this flex direction is just use it to manage this main axis of the way it is distributes the elements 